Okay. Hello? You can hear me? Yeah. Still too much people go to this. And we are in our daily work and we said, okay, we, we will restore it. But we, would, we should think that a big disaster happened. All the natural tools have gone as this home or this boat. And we should think, rest a little bit and think what was the reason. What are, in my opinion, the triggers? Because if we don't know the triggers, we cannot avoid them. So there's the hygiene, there's no doubt. I think with all these hygiene protocols, with the cleaning devices, with recall system, we can manage that. We have the habits, okay, that's more difficult, smoking. Then we have parafunctions. Bruxism is, as we heard from Gary before, a nighttime parafunction. And it causes abrasion and not much more. But the other parafunction is pressing our jaws. And if we are pressing, it's a statical, uh, it's an, there's no movement, we are just pressing it. We are doing it during day and during night. And the force is about 70 to 80 kilograms per, per molar. When we are chewing, not a very good piece of meat, we have between 10 and 15 kilograms. So imagine a back package from 15 kilograms or one of 80. You won't be even able to have a walk. And so this is absolutely highly destructive. There is no natural tissue that can resist this structure. And we have it in young people. We have it at all ages. And even we have it in absolutely healthy and functionally correct uh, uh, mouth. So these are the four triggers and what are the possible solutions, in my opinion. The power function, we need other materials. So we need shock absorbing materials. Metal and zirconia or ceramic materials are absolutely not shock absorbing. Let's see what literature tells us about the restoration of the, the implant-supported rehabilitation of edentulous people. Look, Koenig in 2013 tells us that zirconia-based res based restorations fail in 50% of the cases. You have to do a lot of work afterwards to maintain this patient. The parafunctional activity, it's a big problem because it's, you, you really don't know if the patients immediately started with this because it's, it's coming from the central nerve system. It's not for your rehabilitation. And it's even more difficult to make implant-supported prosthesis than natural tooth-supported prosthesis. Okay, so we have really a problem with the edentulous and fixed prosthesis. And here another one, and it was mentioned in the Congress, what is better if after four years we repair a composite shock absorbing restoration, or we have to take after eight years a tooth out who has a perfectly intact porcelain fused to metal crown. In, in, in the market, no material. We will see that the peak polymer is an alternative, but so that's, uh, that's the conclusion. Okay, so we see here the block of the con normal materials, titanium, chrome, cobalt, and uh, zirconia. And we see there is, they're very heavy compared to bone, especially cancellous bone and peak. And now another very important point is the module of the elasticity. It's a very elastic material compared to the other block of the normal material. They are very stiff. And here, this is peak and this is cancellous bone. And the elasticity, similar to cancellous bone, um, 
makes this kind of bridges work. So if we put a titanium bridge on this implant, probably it will not work simply for the elasticity of the mandible. Okay, so let's resume what, what we should have be in mind when we decide or design our framework for the edentulous patient. We need shock absorbing because we do not know if the patient will have pressure on it. We now make even small bridges. We veneer them with uh, hybrid composites with uh, desilicate. And this, look how it adapts. It's better than a rigid one. It lasts longer because it's not rigid. We can make bars. We have very good tribological uh, characteristics, so it's, it's in the mouse very nice to see how the, uh, the denture slips over the bar. We have now experience for three years. It's stable. The retention maintains. And here, you see, we have this ID implant direct. We have no gaps. We have no cementation. Um, we, we, it's cleaner. And we made last week here x-rays in the mouse. And we have also, we have a, an extreme vertical cantilever. We have absolute healthy bone. Even now, we can make combined uh, solutions, metal-free, because we can treat them at peak, the Chuvora peak material, similar to bone. And now, no direct implantation, no bone augmentation, and no immediate loading. Thank you very much.